it's, it's pronounced no caro and it stands for no kerosene. Meant to replace lamps using kerosene or other fuels, no caro is solar powered, rechargeable, and shaped like a common light bulb. It could prove to be a life-changing invention for a quarter of the world's population, the 1.6 billion people who have no access to electricity. There's an economic benefit, of course, because we have a break-even after about five months of use. From a local pollution standpoint, inside their, their dwelling, uh, you know, it's clean. It's clean technology where burning these fossil fuels is, is a uh, dangerous and polluting um, activity. It actually produces 190 million tons of uh, carbon dioxide per year, which is the equivalent of 30 million vehicles. So, uh, you know, that, that is a, a tremendous burden on the environment. Inventor Steve Katseros came up with the idea for his no carol bulbs at his home in the U.S. state of Colorado in early 2010. Six months later, he would be in Hong Kong with a working product that's now being manufactured on the Chinese mainland for distribution to more than 50 countries. This is the basic product here. This is the on-off switch. There are four solar panels around the outside, provide energy to a battery that is located on the inside here. I'll show that in a minute. And then the battery powers five LEDs. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one on. You'll see that there's one, two, three, four, five powered LEDs in here. That battery that takes the charge can be accessed right here, the standard nickel metal hydride battery that lasts about three years. At the end of three years, you can replace it with a new one, and the product continues to work. Depending on how bright the sun is, the bulb can be charged in as little as four hours and ready to provide up to four hours of light after darkness falls. The small town of Chakra Seca in Nicaragua is among the first places in the world to try the product. <laughs> y he visto la dificultad de no tener luz en, en, en las casas. Con este bombillo ayuda a mejorar el desarrollo. Well, it's hard to put a price on having light in one's dwelling. When you talk about somebody in rural Africa or India that doesn't have any form of electricity and they run out of kerosene and their lanterns aren't able to be lit, they are completely dead in the water. They can't get anything done. There's no income generation activities. There's no education activities occurring. And they simply can't do anything. So this product gives them a chance to have a couple of extra hours per night of productivity. But this bright idea needed some help to power it from concept to commercial reality. And for Nocaro's inventor, the key was finding a business partner in Hong Kong. Katseros formed a Hong Kong company with local partners, Zamax International, which worked up the design and got it rolling off an assembly line on the mainland. All the development they involve a very serious engineer working in the drawing and how to make an idea, just a simple idea, turn it into a, a practical product, a manufacturable product is very important. And also we have considered all the issues about the costing, how to manufacturing. I think this all can be done in Hong Kong uh, with all the experience we have and all the relations we have accomplished with the Chinese uh, manufacturer. Those advantages helped Nocaro drive down the price of its bulbs to six U.S. dollars a piece wholesale, or about $12 retail. That's cheaper than kerosene lighting in the long run. Anticipating demand from non-government organizations, Nocaro is prepared to halve the unit price for bulk orders and print bulbs with custom logos or messages. There are other solar products there's a wind-up hand crank products but for some reason the way we've designed ours as a bulb it really captures the imagination and it has this viral marketing behind it anybody in the world can look at this and know they understand what it is and then they go to the second level which is that they understand what it can do for them because we all understand the benefits of light <laughs> for this kind of wind product actually we've been doing this for a while and we also have developed the other area about air and water and other things, and, things. and all those things uh, could have a very good future in the, in the worldwide. I don't think we could have done this anywhere else but Hong Kong. The price point that we were trying to achieve and the quality level that we needed to obtain in order to satisfy the markets, we couldn't have done it in another location.